They are a notorious right-wing group accused of being violent racists who have taken to the streets to fight what they view as homegrown Islamic extremists. They are located in England. They are a group called the English Defense League, which is a racist organization whose main activity is street demonstration against the Muslim community. The EDL states that they only target extreme Muslims who violently or very extremely spread their religion of Islam, though it has been found and seen that many of the members of the English Defense League target any person who is Islamic. Through my research of this multi and diverse group of religious people, I found that in general, many attacks have been caused just based upon the religion of the person or the people of that religion. The English Defense League was founded in Luton, England in March of 2009 by the leader Stephen Lennon or aka Tommy Robinson. This group was founded in order to stop the extreme Muslim protesters in the streets of England. They said their purpose was to get rid of the extreme Muslims, though they have clearly throughout the years protested and violently tortured the regular people of the Muslim community. They have been known for doing violent acts to the communities of the Muslim people throughout England. Many of these acts have had outcomes of people dying and many times being sent to the hospital with injuries very severe. Social media has also served for the EDL as they have gained tons of support through followers of their social media accounts and spread of the EDL. Though social media was also a huge impact for them for getting tons of people to join. It has also served though as a breaking point for the EDL, showing their true colors at times. The group has been exposed as a group targeting Muslims around the world due to the support across the world and throughout England. In 2009 through the year 2011, the English Defense League reached its highest point in popularity and in population of its people. This group was a huge success creating world known popularity through spread of mouth and thanks to a huge spread of the EDL through social media, thanks to a huge support of followers throughout their accounts. Though by the end of the year 2011, the EDL came off the path of success. It soon found itself in a lot of trouble with several high profile members of the EDL supporting the two terror attacks that killed 77 people. The man in charge of this terrifying attack was Anders Breivik. The leader of the EDL was filmed as if he was admitting his admiration for the killer who killed 77 people. By October of 2013, the leader, Stefan Lennon, had quit the organization, the English Defense League, leaving the members and people following the group lost of how the group could stay in control and stable, though the group feared nothing, becoming even stronger and more stable. Though by the year 2014 had come, the group had already started off to a bad start. The West Midlands Police issued photographs of almost 60 people who were linked to a violent demonstration in Birmingham. A further 32 English Defense League activist members were sent to jail for their acts of park disturbances. Have you ever, do you think, incited any of this? Well, that's what, that's what they're saying. Well, you deserve it. You deserve it. What? Because I, I exercise my freedom of speech and I'm critical of an ideology. America's going to see firsthand what's going to happen. How, how, how their freedoms will be under attack. This is what's happening. This is coming your way. Through my research of the English Defense League, I have found that there are not just a few groups that are devoted to their religion or multi-religious purpose. The EDL has been on the news many times and just recently on ABC News Nightline. They were doing a clip on the EDL as they sent in one reporter to follow the group and learn more about them. I found out about the group through watching ABC News Nightline. I found it interesting about how they protested and went about themselves. I hope you enjoy watching my English Defense League documentary.